Hey everyone, uh, today I'll be talking about monitoring dark social, hence the cool um, overlay background behind me. Um, and I will talk about monitoring dark social in a way that helps you to find relevant conversations or mentions and shares of your product or your brand in communities and other channels. Now, a quick disclaimer, uh, I'm recording this video from a, um, a sales perspective. So in a way to show SDRs, BDRs, uh, founders doing sales, whoever is looking to get more sales um, on how to, use, how to utilize these methods to generate more sales. So that is a quick disclaimer. If you're looking for um, a way for marketers to do this, then it might still be helpful because there's some pretty cool tricks that, um, that we'll be showing you today. So stick around. But um, if you're in sales, then I'm, I'm confident you'll love this video. So let's dive in. Um, so most of you are very likely familiar with something called social media monitoring. You have tools like uh, Mention. I think that's Mention.com. You have a few others, which in itself can be pretty effective. However, most tools that look for, uh, for social media mentions, they aren't very helpful for sales. So luckily uh, i discovered a cool co tool called sifton or siphton i'm assuming it's pronounced Sif pronounced sifton uh, which is perfect for sales professionals who are looking for new opportunities uh, i've used it myself um, to track certain keywords that i will show you in just a second but you can use it to um, track the uh, or monitor the mention of competitors Maybe topics related to your product or even your own brand or your own website, you can plug your own domain in there. For example, um, so I used to track it to mention the usage of AI first lines, which is very relevant to what we do at Lionball AI. Um, so let me show you what Sifton actually looks like. Let me share my screen with you. And there we go. So here we are. So this is Sifton. Um, I'm just sticking with Sifton, even though it might be Sifton. No, it's not going to be Sifton. It'll be Sifton. Um, so these are the sites it can help you monitor. So as you can see, that is a whole lot more than um, what most um, social monitoring tools like to do. The great part is it allows you to actively listen into, for example, Slack communities, but also some Facebook groups. Um, it's an experimental future. Um, then the founder, I believe he's a solo founder. He said he would like to change it. Um, I believe he's adding more uh, Facebook groups to it. Uh, that was likely the idea, but either way, these could already be pretty relevant to what you're doing. Now, when it comes to Slack communities, so there are few, um, um, a few IT or a few um, technology ones in the Kubernetes, um, DevOps chat. Uh, etc. Ruby on Rails. So um, that's obviously you know very relevant. If I don't know you're recruiting for um, for developers looking to find to um, to get a new job. There's also productlets.slack.com, which is super relevant if you have any you're selling any software around product like growth or any services around it. Uh, Shopify partners. I, I can think of at least ten use cases for that. So um just have a look whenever you have a second um backlinks looks like hey that's relevant for uh for us right now for for seo um i actually forgot that was in there that's why i got excited so have a look at all the slack channels that are in here and i'm confident you'll find one that is going to be relevant for you then if not do not worry because there are a lot more sites that can be monitored there's hacker news uh reddit which is obviously huge um in the hacker stack exchange dev CO. There are several forums on there, news sites and blogs, uh, growth hackers, which is a pretty cool one to monitor as well. Um, and then there are the Facebook group, the SaaS marketer, IT support group, and IT slash MSP entrepreneurs. I'm not sure what, um, what that is, to be honest with you. And then it commanded Twitter as well, which is something that I found pretty effective. So I did an experiment. I was at 800 and something, maybe 900 followers on Twitter. And I thought, well, if I start doing all these threads and all these tweets and all that um, it's not going to be fast enough so i thought i'm just going to insert myself into conversations around you know what's relevant um and i'm going to optimize my profile my name a little bit and uh, i went from 900 ish followers to i think i'm at 1200 now in 
um, in a couple of months, uh, which um, is, is, you know, isn't exactly hyper growth, but I do believe that it's more effective than um, uh, trying to gain that traction by just tweeting. Uh, so that's one way you can use it as well as a Twitter growth hack tool. Um, so let's dive into the filters, which are um, pretty extensive. Now, if you come from a marketing background or if you come from a Google Ads background, then these will probably look familiar to a certain extent. Uh, so they, so you can use you know, just the word Sifton, the word um, YouTube, the word line, you can do that. Um, or you can do for contain anything that contains these words. And then there's phrase match as well, which is something that you're likely familiar with uh, when you did, if you've done Google ads, if not, just uh, make sure that you check it out. Um, you know, phrase match has different types of filters. And there's also full documentation here. So it's sifton.com slash documentation. There's a full documentation for you to check that out if you want to dive deeper into the, the different filters. Um, so you can do, um, um, Boolean searches, but something that's also pretty cool. Uh, for example, startups that recently got funded, so site uh, news.ycombinator.com and then in the title. So this will only monitor uh, news.ycombinator.com uh, or Hacker News, and um, it will only show you um, articles that have valuation, round, raise or raised. Uh, that's what the asterisk is there in the title. Um, so that's, you know, you can, that way you can monitor Hacker News for, for topics that are relevant to you. Um, or you can be the first one to reach out to startups that recently got funded before um, they appear in Zoom info or before they appear in Apollo, for example. So that's um, that's pretty powerful stuff. Then um, this, you know, you can mention you can track mention of your brand, but also you can track mentions of your domain. So if as a marketer you want to, um, if you want to uncover a bit more about the direct. Um, I believe that's yeah, directing Google Analytics. So those types of um, traffic sources, you can do that. But again, I'm not going to dive too deep into marketing use cases here. Um, and then there are a few other use cases. So which are about Hacker News, about Reddit. Um, and again, Reddit, I've been underestimating it. Don't underestimate it. It's a phenomenal resource. And it's um, uh, the volume you can get there for a lot of keywords is really incredible. So it's something that I need to um, dive a bit deeper in and you probably as well. So those um, are the keywords that you have. And then what else is important and what is pretty cool. So they have a Slack integration. So we have set up a channel called keyword monitoring where we send all the um, all the tags to. But you can also, for example, have a um, dedicated Slack channel for each keyword. If, for example, one would be for your sales team or for SDR1, the other one would be for your marketing team or SDR2. That is something you, that you can set up as well. Um, and, um, and just getting in a Slack as a constant stream of potential conversational leads to dive into is pretty, pretty powerful. So here's a screenshot of um, uh, what that looks like inside of our Slack. So for example, for a while, we uh, track data enrichment because we, we want to, to get some insights there. So whenever someone mentions data enrichment on Twitter, Reddit, wherever, you can see, okay, hey, um they this um uh, i think somewhere later this person um they or someone else they talked about needing um data enrichment a data enrichment provider or data enrichment service so hey if you work for clearbit or if you work for a competitor of clearbit you can just swoop in there um and that's a very very hot lead right there and again volume is, is uh pretty high on reddit obviously depending on the keywords that you're tracking um, and then, you know, how you can do it with your sales team, uh, whenever you're actually following up there or you're jumping in a conversation, you just mark that one with a little check mark uh, emoji in Slack so that the rest of your team knows that you followed up there. And that way you can, um, you can track everything, you have a system in place where, you know, you know, okay, people are following up um, and then uh, nothing slips through the cracks. So that's one way of doing it. Then, um, uh, they can also send reports to your email. There's an RSS feed. So you can actually embed it somewhere if you want to build a, uh, a paid tool around it. Hey, I just thought that I might actually do something around that. Um, and then they have an API and you can connect, can connect to Zapier. Zapier. Um, and uh, one thing you can, for example, do 
um, you can say, okay, whenever someone actually tweets about something at that Twitter handle to a Google sheet or to something else, maybe a Twitter automation tool and automatically follow those people and like their first tweet, stuff like that. So that way you can have like a Twitter growth hack tool running in the background, for example. Um, uh, so that's, um, that's another way you can use it. So there are a lot of use cases. Um, I'm going to um, leave it at this because I can go on for another hour just thinking of use cases. So if you think of something cool, just leave it in the comments below because uh, I really like to see what you come up with. Um, or if you have questions, also drop them in the comments below. Maybe together we can um, go over your use case and see how we can best set that up. Then um, again, it's a solo founder. I think his name is Michael. Um, so I'm pretty sure if you have specific questions that he's um, uh, he's more than willing to to answer. Um, and that's it. That's it for the video. If you liked it, well, you know what to do. I'm not going to ask for it. Um, and again, if you have cool ideas, if this gave you um, any sort of value where you say, oh, heck, I closed, uh, I closed the big deal because of it. Just let me know. That's something that really motivates me to make more videos like this. So um, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. And let me see. No, I'm um, checking my notes. I did not miss anything. So Hope you enjoyed it. Hope to see you in the next video. If you have a request for video, something around cold email, growth, growth hacking, anything like that, let me know. Um, and then, you know, I might uh, just share it, not sharing all of our secrets, but I'll, um, I might be able to make a video around it. So thanks for watching and hopefully I will see you in.